Hi everybody, Ajay here. Today we are going to learn about the rate of evaporation. Evaporation is a process where any liquid changes into a gas or vapor. Today I am doing an experiment about how the rate of evaporation is affected by the surface area. But there are three other ways the rate of evaporation can be affected. One is humidity, the second is temperature, and the third is the wind speed. Aim of the experiment is to tell how the surface area affects the rate of evaporation. My prediction is that the rate of evaporation will increase when the surface area increases. For this experiment, I will need a ceramic plate, a ceramic cup, a glass of colored water, and a small measuring cup. To make this a fair test, I have used a ceramic plate and a ceramic cup, both made out of the same material. I am using the same unit of measurement, milliliters. I am using the same liquid, water. The only thing I am changing is the surface area of the, of the material because the plate has more surface area and the cup has less surface area. I have colored the water blue so we can see it in the white ceramic. I am not going to change the environment in this experiment. I am The only thing I am going to do is I am going to pour the water in both of the... I am going to measure the water and then pour it in both the cup and the plate and then I am going to put it in the sun to let it evaporate. I'm measuring 10 ml and pouring it into the cup and the plate. Now I am going to put both the cup and the plate in the sun. Now I am keeping it under the sun. I am going to check it after 12 hours. After 12 hours, I have taken my cup and my plate from the sun. The water in the cup looks like it hasn't evaporated at all. But the water in the plate has evaporated a lot as we can see here. Now I am just going to measure them both. Looks like this has about se 7 milliliters. And this has only 4? Well then, I can say that my prediction is correct thanks to this experiment. The more surface area there is, the rate of evaporation increases and the less surface area there is, the rate of evaporation decreases. So, from my experiment, we can see the cup having previously 10 ml has reduced by only 3 ml that has evaporated, which is now left with 7 ml and the, and the plate previous, having previously 10 ml has a decrease, it has evaporated 6 ml and that's why it only has 4 ml remaining. So, now we can see that the plate has doubled the rate of evaporation as the cup. So, this concludes my experiment that the plate with more surface area has more rate of evaporation because it is white and the cup which has less surface area has less rate of evaporation because it is narrow. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do do this experiment at home and enjoy this experiment. Thank you.